Um, so I have right here is a um, kind of like a bass drop tutorial, I guess you could say. So I have two songs, Bonfire by Knife Party and Devastator from For Today. And so what I did was I um, pretty much boosted the bass in it. So like this is all of the bass. And I'm not sure how loud this is going to be, so I'm just going to warn you, you might want to turn down whatever you're listening to like your phone or your computer and um you're gonna have to have like good headphones or good speakers to uh hear this bass because it well yeah so just have well i mean any headphones like computer speakers won't do or phone speakers so um i got this is how it sounds and that's how the um that's my bass drop in here, and so that's the EQ on it. It's insane. So you can look at this. Like it just goes off and about. But yeah, so I'm gonna let you listen to it. Um, I don't know. Well, this is what the beginning of Bonfire sounds like. So. <laughs> And I understand that we're clipping, but that's not that big of a deal, so it's not going to be like, but you, you can't hear it, or maybe you can, I can't hear it. It's not giving me a top, like, plucky sound, so therefore I don't really need to worry about it. But here's Devastate, uh, uh, Div Devastate, my bad, Devastator from For Today, and this EQ is pretty intense too, so. Just look at it, look at it, look at it. And I mind you, that's only the beginning part. So here's the um here's the first bass shot. I, I am the one that will bring you down. And when you fall, you'll me. You'll see my face on the battleground. Let my name be feared at the gates of hell. That's how you saw the savior. The one that died. Right now I'm playing the two most intense bass drops. So you got one here, which is pretty intense, and you got one right here, which is just mental. So. So, yeah, I'm gonna replay this one because that one is just mental. So, Let's just listen to that. It's like not as intense at first, but when it gets into the middle to the end, it's just powerful. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna put my hand on the cone so you can actually hear it, how well it is. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know how intense that was, but that was insane. Alright, and when I, I'm going to show you how to pretty much make these, or, yeah, make this uh, bass sound. Hang on. So, 
so yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'm just gonna show you how to make this. So we're gonna create a new track, software instrument. Oh, and I'm so if you don't have like any expensive software, this is perfect for you because you don't need expensive software. You can just use the um stuff that GarageBand has to offer. So um. Shit, I didn't actually explain it. All right, hang on. Redo. Uh, new track. Software instrument. Create. Um, you can hit that uh, button I just hit. And you can go to bass. Nope, because this isn't working. Synthesizer. Bass. And go to vintage synth bass. Go to the controls. You're only going to turn sign all the way up. Cut off and resonance, resonance all the way down and you're gonna have this cool sound of bass sorry about that background noise my uh the channel my snare is just rattling um but here let me just solo this so you can push re nope not there and just hit it once nope go back there we go, sorry. And you can just bring it all the way there, but shorten it a ton. So whatever you're liking is, mine is here. And I'm just gonna drag it down. I'm holding option so you can do this fast, or you can do it, D control and paste, command C. Command V, and then just bring it underneath so you get this nice sound. And if you want to like raise it, you can. You could just grab two notes, and then you can go there and just grab this note and raise it there. And then you can just make it descend again by grabbing another three notes. And I don't know how this is going to sound, but it might sound pretty cool. So it's got this like wave sound. Hang on, I want to see how good this is. Nah, just go for the full drop. Alright. No. Not bad. So, and then you can uh, boost it a ton by going into, um, by hitting this like little knob button up here. Then you can go into EQ, and it's already got this like EQ form already, and you can just turn all these off except for, and then turn this one on. So you can hit the analyzer, and we're, we're just going to solo this and loop it. So. I don't know if you can hear that, but my carriages are going ape shit because of this. And you can grab this yellow one, put it wherever you, you, you think puts it more. I think over here might be good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Now here, once again, I want to put my hand on the cones. And you're going to hear it bounce. Yeah, so. And then you just do the same exact thing in the song. Just go into the EQ and put it to your liking, and you can either put the gain all the way up, which is not going to be good because that'll deafen you. But yeah, that is how to make a bass drop in um, GarageBand, and I hope you guys like it.